Okay, hey, can everybody see me all, all right? All right, well, good afternoon, buenas tardes, everyone. Uh, it's uh, the, uh, uh, the the voice behind the the face uh, you've already seen for the class. So, yeah, it's me, uh, Professor Cañedo, or uh, El Profesor, if you want to uh, call, call me that. And uh, I'm really happy to uh, be working with you guys this semester as we explore uh, various aspects of the uh, of the history of, of, the, of the Golden State. Um, and uh, the focus here will be uh, mainly on uh, cultural history, social, a uh, little bit, a little bit of, of, of politics. But uh, the state history is just so uh, complex on so many levels. And uh, I mean, there's nowhere we're going to really uh, get to uh, get to everything. But we'll do the best we can in these next uh, next uh, few few months. So hopefully all of you at this time have uh, uh, for sure the uh, the main textbook by uh, James Rawls and the late Walton Bean. That's been a standard of uh, California history text for, for many, many years. Uh, Professor Bean has been, uh, he's lo it's been a long time since he's passed on, but uh, Professor Rawls has done a great job of carrying on uh, Professor Bean's uh, work. And, uh, and now we're in the 10th edition of, of it. So make sure you have that right now because you're going to need that for this week. And uh, eventually pick up the rest. Pick up the rest of the books. Of course, I've mentioned the syllabus. Farewell to Manzanar. It's not available at the bookstore, but it's such a popular book, uh, used uh, by uh, state teachers. In fact, I'm sure for those of you who are uh, who are already teaching, teaching in the ele ele elementary schools, you've probably used Farewell to Manzanar. So you probably have extra copies. Uh, uh, no, uh, with no problem at all. And of course, for those who need a copy, you can get one with no problem uh, from Amazon.com or uh, any anywhere anywhere where else. Uh, I guess you can check on Craigslist or uh, things of that nature. But the book that you should be getting uh, immediately within the next couple of weeks is, of course, the one by uh, Isabel Allende, Daughter of Fortune. In fact, I'm going to make a video exclusively about Daughter of Fortune. I'll make several videos coming up in about two, three weeks' time. But what I do for what I want to do for you guys this afternoon is a uh, a couple of things actually. First, let me say a couple of things about myself. I'll quickly go over the uh, the syllabus, the assignments. And then I'll and then I'll spend a lot more time the remain the second half of the video talking about the Tumblr summit. So this is gonna be a kind of a lengthy video. Don't be surprised if it comes in between 15 and 20 minutes. Uh, those of you who might have taken uh, my uh, history 101 one on classes in the past, you know how long my videos can can get. So uh, it's not gonna be that much of, a, of an exception here for this class, but. Uh, but this is something that I normally do for my regular on-campus classes. I give uh, these uh, lengthy introductions, announcements, uh, and so forth. So I guess you might say it's sort of a habit I've picked up uh, in my uh, in my 17 years of, uh, of of teaching at the Southwestern, Grossmont, Mesa, and other schools. So let me quick, quickly say a couple things about myself, and then I'll get on to the syllabus. Um, I've been teaching the California class for Grossmont for the, for about 10 years now. I taught a lot of the on-campus classes around uh, uh, 04, 05, but I've been doing a lot of the online sections. I think um, I think between me, Professors Hargrove and Gaston, we tend to alternate. Uh, uh, George and Kristen do the on-campus sections, but I've been doing a lot of the on the online sections for the past a few for the past few years. And besides History 124, I'm doing the uh, History 109. Some of you may be in, in that section right right now. Uh, and then I'm also doing some work for Southwestern College doing the uh, Mexican American history classes and also uh, at Mesa College, we're doing the Chicano Studies classes. I've been teaching, as, a, as I indicated, for about 17 years now, and uh, I've taught at other schools too. I've taught at Cuyamaca, I've taught at City, and I've even taught a couple of classes for Palomar, one of them at the, uh, at the Camp Pendleton base back in uh, 2002. That was definitely quite an interesting ex experience on many, many levels. Um, I'm a native of the San Diego area, the South Bay, born and raised in National City, but I moved out of National City about a year and a half ago. I'm up here in Riverside County in, uh, in Winchester. Uh, for those of you who don't know, don't know Winchester, it's a little patch of unincorporated community uh, north of Temecula, east of Marietta, south of Hemet, and, uh, and uh, west, of, west of Lake Skinner. So I'm in a, uh, I'm in a part which is almost like the, uh, uh, like, uh, in many respects, uh, quite, quite rural or, or semi-rural, uh, but I'm pretty close to uh, the Highway 79, and, and of course that's close to the 15. So, uh, so I'm still, for all intents and purposes, in some degree of, uh, of, of civilization. Uh, education background, I, uh, I went to UCSD after I got out of high school. I'm a Hilltop High grad. From Chula Vista, 
and then I went, went and got my master's in Latin American studies in Senegal State. So this class will have a heavy concentration of, of uh, many Latin American things, particularly the, the legacy of the Mexicans, because of course, as uh, uh, all, of, all of you know, this area did belong to Mexico as part of the Mexican Republic for, uh, uh, for a very short time, for 15 short years. But of course, before that, a lot of uh, Spanish and Native American heritage, we'll get into a lot of that too uh, as, the, uh, as, as the class un unfolds. Outside interest, uh, you can probably tell that I'm a, uh, if you can make out the, the writing on, on my shirt, I'm a big hockey fan. I love the Detroit Red Wings, but I'm a, but I'm a local fan too. I love the Ducks. Uh, I'm really happy the Ducks are doing, are doing great, great this season. I, I think they'll win the Stanley Cup. I think they're, they're, they're that strong. Their defense, Jonas Hiller and Ryan Getzlaff and Corey Parrott are just uh, 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 playing just the lights out hockey this, uh, this season. So I foresee the Ducks taking it all, getting their second cup uh, by the... Uh, uh, by the beginning, by the middle part of uh, middle part of, of June, um, other sports I like baseball too. Uh, so sorry, Padres fans, but since I'm in the uh, Dodgers uh, uh, TV area, I'm a bit, I love the Dodgers, uh, and uh, um, and as uh, uh, but I also like the Tigers too. I've been to Detroit a few times, seen the Tigers play there. As for football, I'm not so much a big fan of football, so I don't have a horse in the race. Uh, so to speak, with respect to the uh, Seahawks and, and, and Seahawks and, and, and the Broncos, I do like the Lions, but of course, I'm sure all of you know their history. Not exactly a uh, a great a great team these these days. They're very inconsistent, despite all the talent that they have. All right, and anything else? Uh, oh, uh, as for one of my uh, 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 one of my hobbies, uh, I have I have quite a few feline friends. So I have uh, I have two Persian uh, girls and one and, and one a white cat. So when I start making some videos out in the out outdoor patio, you'll get to meet the black Persian and, and the white cat. The gray Persian, she she's inside. So if she comes uh, walking around as the video is recording, don't be surprised if I uh, hold her up and she says hello to everybody. So that's a little bit about me right now. Of course, I'll find out who uh, you guys are when I look at all your introductions, and I'm going to reply to each and every one of your introductions over the next the two weeks. So uh, uh, that's one things I one of the things I try to do for all my classes when I get everyone's introduction. I I, I of course read it, but then I, I reply to it. So toward the end of the week and into the next weekend, I'll start uh, reading and replying to all of your introductions. Okay, enough about me. Let me say a few things about the class, and to do that, I've got my. Uh, my main iPad here, I'm recording with my iPad mini, so uh, I guess you could, you could say uh, I'm definitely a big fan of the stuff that uh, Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak uh, did, did many, many years ago. Of course, the uh, 30th anniversary of the, of, of the Macintosh, uh, so I'm definitely interested, uh, interested in, uh, in, uh, uh, in, in that. But let me quickly tell a bit about some of the things from the class. I'm not going to go over a lot, lot of stuff in my other videos. <clears throat> Excuse me. In my other videos, I'll say a lot more things about some of the key assignments. But quickly, let me quick uh, just touch upon some of the uh, highlights of the class with respect to the assignments, and then we'll spend the uh, remainder of the video talking about the Tumblr assignment. Mm. Okay, let me get the uh, course uh, up. Okay, let me quickly scroll into the assignments here. Okay, you've got several assignments for the uh, for the course of the semester and, and also uh, also exams. Let me quickly talk about the exams. Uh, there are two main main exam portions. There are the quizzes and the final exam. The quizzes are fairly self-explanatory. There's gonna they're gonna be on a bi-weekly basis. So after every two weeks of of topics, whether it's from the text, from PowerPoint, or from uh, any articles that I might pass out, or or any film, for the most part, it looks like everything will be focused. Um, exclusively or almost exclusively on the readings from the uh, text uh, and also any proper program so on a bi-weekly basis you'll have two you'll, you'll have a you'll have a, a quiz uh, so there's going to be seven quizzes all together each quiz will be 50 questions multiple choice uh, two points each so 100 points total it'll be your best uh, average it'll be your average of your best six quizzes which will make up uh, which will which will make up 15 percent and let me take off from glass so I can get a better look at the uh, at the uh, at the screen, I'm actually uh, near side, so I can see things up close, but at a distance, that I definitely have some some difficulties. <clears throat> and with the quiz, you're going to have access to the PDF copy of the quiz at least a day before. So when we get to the first quiz toward the end of next week, Thursday before I open up the quiz, I'll give you the PDF copy. So again, it's a uh, 
It's a six equip. It's a seven quizzes. It's the best six of the seven, and it's the average of the six that's going to make up 50% of your class grade. 20% will be taken in the form of a final exam in which those will be, these will be short essay questions covering the length of the class, focusing almost entirely on the uh, on the roles and bean text. But there's going to be a PDF copy of the uh, of the of the exam. And in fact, I'm going to give you the uh, the PDF copy much much earlier. So. Uh, probably by the middle part of February or toward the e end of February, no later than that, I'll go ahead and give you the PDF copy so you can get a sense of uh, what you have to cover. So this way, as you go through the readings, you know what to be looking out for. So I don't want to make it a point where I give you the uh, PDF copy in, uh, in, in, in mid-May and say, okay, everybody, here you go. Just uh, go back and start reading everything. No, no, no. Uh, I want to give you plenty of time for that. So sometime next month about the... Uh, I would say about the middle part or the third week of February, I'll, I'll give you the access to the PDF copy and then you put your answers into Blackboard at the end of the semester. Okay, and I've got to re reopen, reopen here because because I, I get I get the black screen if I don't if I don't do any activity here to the uh, on the uh, iPad monitor. All right, let me quickly go over the announcements, all of them, and then I'll spend the rest of the session talking about the uh, Tumblr assignment. Now, I will make uh, more specific videos about each uh, about each assignment uh, starting today with a Tumblr one, but quickly let me give you a sketch as to what's going on with, with each one. Uh, SLO assignments, uh, these will be two brief assignments uh, due in March and April in which you're going to look at primary documents pertaining to early aspects of the state history, the mission system and the gold rush. And uh, 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 each of these will be worth 5% and uh, so the total it's 10% 10, 10 of your class grade. Uh, so all you do is you uh, look at the files, look at the documents. Try to figure out what's what's going on here. Whether it's a painting, whether it's a primary source that is a uh, document that happened that took place within that that point in time. So your job is just to interpret what's going on and give me your, your answers. SLOs are really a big thing uh, going on at Rose Smart and History Department and all over the state actually. So undoubtedly, in your other classes, your instructors uh, have uh, uh, have mentioned things about the uh, SLOs. That's going to be no different for this class. So I'll talk more about the the specific aspects about this coming up. Uh, uh, sometime, probably about the uh, second, about the second of February for sure. I'll say more about this one. Okay, the next one is called the Daughter of Fortune cover letter of resume. Our our first major book will be Daughter of Fortune by Isabel Allende, and uh, it's an epic novel, which is one of the masterpieces I think in Latin American literature, one of the more recent masterpieces. So, to, to basically the upshot is, I'm going to make you. Uh, in, in, the, in, in the center of study, this, you're going to be characters, or at least living in the time frame, in, in that time, you're going to be passengers aboard a ship going from Valparaiso in Chile to San Francisco. And your job is to uh, give me a, uh, a cover letter of resume, as if you're applying for a job, but I'm going to be an, an agent for a company uh, based upon what's in, in the novel, and you're going to try to convince me why you want to go to California, and uh, what is it you want to accomplish there, blah, 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 that type of thing. And what I want is for pe people to be of different backgrounds. So I want people to be, I want some of you to, to be Europeans. I want some of you, you, uh, some of you to be uh, Latin Americans from Chile, Peru, Ecuador, or even uh, native peoples from, uh, from, from South America. I want some of you to be Asians, um, uh, Chinese, Japanese from H H Hawaii. Uh, and I want some of you to, to be Mexicans and some of you to be North Americans, to be Americans from the United States. So uh, whether you be from uh, the Midwest or from Boston, from the South, wherever, and uh, try to put yourself within the context of the story and tell me, I'm picking you, uh, no, my ship is picking you up at the port of Valparaiso and we're, we're going to California. Your job is to tell me what that's all about. So I'll talk a lot, a lot more about this. That'll be my next video coming up. Uh, uh, coming up very very soon. So just just have that idea in the back of your mind. We're going to go back in time and re and relive what's happening in the 1850s. Okay, the next one is a California novel assignment that's due at the end of May. Very straightforward. Uh, just choose a, a literary work from any of the uh, various novelists uh, uh, about California, whether it's uh, Steinbeck, Frank Norris, Allende, one of her other works besides Daughter of Fortune, Joan Didion, uh, some of the, uh, uh, the uh, 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 Chicano authors, Jose Antonio Villarreal, Victor Villasenor, many, many others, Asians like Maxine Hong Kingston, Amy Tan. So as long as their story focuses, has a California-based theme, write about that. And like, and of course, I'll talk more about that a, a little bit later on. Probably, probably in, uh, in March, I'll give you a video focusing mostly on that. 
Okay, California Tumblr, we'll talk about that in just a minute. And then you've got the EBSCO article uh, uh, re re review assignment. Your job is to look at the EBSCO database in the Grossmont LRC. And again, you don't have to go to the LRC itself to uh, to get this. Uh, just get it from your home or work computer. And get uh, using your gross your your Grossmont or Queen Mac ID information to log into the uh, Grossmont LRC uh, 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 library uh, databases. Pick an article about California history. Use the EBSCO uh, database and just do a review about that. And, and when you go in the assignment section in Blackboard itself, there's a lot more detail about that. But I, I, of course, will give you a video about this. So this will be the uh, video I give you, not next time, but the time after. So I would say about the uh, uh, first week of March, first or second week of March, I'll give you the video focusing in on the EBSCO assignment. <clears throat> okay, and let me quickly quickly say one, one, one final thing with respect to the grading structure. Uh, at the end of the syllabus, I've got the numbers. Uh, and the way I'm going to do this is that I'm going to use Blackboard to make up your grades. So you're going to have a weighted total. So at the end of the semester, you're going to have a total score uh, a bit of in the range of about 100 points, based on 100 points. So, uh, so, so for instance, on the Daughter of Fortune assignment, uh, I've got that, uh, I think, uh, about 10%, about so 10% of 100. That's going to be the raw score that goes into Blackboard. So everything added up at the end of the, uh, of the semester will, will be close to 100 points. So that 100 point skill is going to be what your grade is going to be based on. This first, I'm actually using Blackboard to uh, calculate all the grades. I've been using a uh, an old, outdated formula that I've been using since 1997, 1998. So I'm finally going to join the 21st century and use Blackboard to uh, to, uh, to, to total up your score. So this way, there's no confusion at the end of the semester. You know exactly what your score is going to be. And uh, there'll be some bumps along the road because uh, I'm still learning how to do this. So thankfully, one of the uh, uh, one of the uh, uh, tech people at uh, at, with, at Miramar Close, she's helping me out big time to, to, to do this. So if I run into any, any trouble, I'll talk to her, I'll call her up or say, like, Katie, help me out here. I, I, I'm having a bit of a difficult time with this. And uh, so the upshot of all this is that at the end of the semester, your total score will be based on, on a 100 point scale, and it's within the 100 point scale that's going to be your, your final grade. So we'll talk more about that as semester progresses. So just to be a, just to give you a heads up about that before we, uh, before we uh, get going. Okay, any questions about any of these? Of course, you know how to contact me uh, for the first couple weeks of the semester. You can definitely contact me at my Grossmont email. But after that, start up getting adept at learning and using Masters for Professor. I know a couple of you have already done that. Are you, uh, thank you, keep that up. But for the rest of you, start getting to have a using Masters for Professor to contact me. It's much easier for me to uh, reply to everybody when all your messages are within the Blackboard platform it's, itself. Um, That's why I can reply to you much more quickly. As the semester progresses, usually by the third or fourth week, I don't tend to, I don't look at my email as quickly as I do at the first part of the semester. So for rapid uh, replies to any concerns about the class, Message for Professor in Blackboard is the way to go. Okay, all right, that concludes the first part of this video. Let's go on to part two now, and I want to go ahead and focus in on the California Tumblr assignment. And some of you have already indicated that you, uh, 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 you got your Tumblr account, accounts and you already have ideas what you want to post for your, your pictures. So thank, so you're definitely on the right track. I, uh, I know there's a lot of you who are definitely adept at using Tumblr. Uh, you know all the, uh, uh, all the social media things, whether it's a Tumblr, Instagram, uh, Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, all that fun stuff. Uh, but I'm sure there's a lot of you who haven't really uh, used Tumblr that much. You're familiar with Facebook and Twitter, maybe Instagram, but not so much Tumblr. Tumblr was a, a platform that was actually bought by Yahoo last year, but I like Tumblr quite a bit. I think it's much uh, better to use in terms of uh, posting, of course, longer uh, longer passes and for posting photos. Twitter is more for instant communication. It's, hey, everybody, I'm here, I'm, I'm there, I'm going to be here at the uh, at the club real, real soon, blah, 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 that type of thing. But I think for the for an academic setting, I find Tumblr to be much better than the Facebook and Twitter. All right, so let's go ahead now and let me move the camera over to my uh, my trusty old uh, iMac and we'll take a look at, the, at Tumblr together. So I hope you, everybody can see this okay. Um, I'm still learning how to use, how to figure out how to uh, use uh, Camtasia so that I've got the videos on there so, so I don't use something clumsy like this. But until I figure out how to do that, we'll go with this, with this pattern for the, uh, uh, for the rest of the semester. All right, so let me put my glasses back on and let's uh, set things up here. You guys, you guys you get a bit of a panorama of my, my whole office and let's, let's get the Tumblr website up and running here.
Okay, all right. Okay, hopefully everyone everyone can see this. Okay, all right. My gosh, this this video is, is actually coming in quite quite. Okay, tell everybody. Let me go ahead and stop this video right here. Uh, let me uh, let me get this to you uh, to you right right now, and then a little bit later later on this afternoon, I'll go ahead and give you the uh, the second part uh, of of this and focus mostly on on Tumblr. So uh, so I apologize for this. I I can't head from this is going to happen. So I'll stop this right now, everybody. But in just a, but I'll go ahead and and make another video focusing exclusively on uh, uh, on Tumblr. So don't so don't go, everyone. I'll be back real soon with a with the uh, another video.